Welcome back to DesignSmith. Today I want to show you some Swiss font alternatives to Helvetica. Yesterday's video where I created Swiss designs without using Helvetica got me thinking, what are some other great fonts that you can use in your Swiss designs besides Helvetica? And that's what we'll be exploring in this video. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to support the channel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Figma for this video, simply because all of these are Google fonts and they're already downloaded within Figma. So the first font we're going to talk about is Leto. Leto can be easily interchanged with Helvetica in Swiss design posters due to its clean, modern, aesthetic, and excellent legibility. As a sans serif typeface, Leto offers a neutral and professional appearance making it suitable for various design applications. Its balanced letter forms and range of weights allows for effective hierarchy and emphasis akin to Helvetica. It's a great alternative to Helvetica. Up next is the font Noto Sans, also a Google font. It can be easily interchanged with Helvetica in Swiss posters due to its clean sans serif style and exceptional legibility. It offers a neutral and versatile appearance, making it suitable for various design contexts. It also has a very large range of weights. All right, up next is Poppins. This is one of my personal favorite fonts. Poppins can also be easily swapped with Helvetica due to its clean geometric sans serif style and that aligns perfectly with Swiss design. It's a modern and versatile font, and it looks great in print and on screen. All right, next up is Manrope, and this one is probably my favorite one on the list. Manrope has very well-proportioned letter forms and open apertures, which ensure excellent legibility. It's suitable for various design applications, but fantastic for Swiss design. And it's also the font that I used in this video up here. Check it out. Better yet, it is a freely available font that anybody can download and use. All right, up next is the font Barlow. Barlow is a very nice font and it's great for Swiss posters due to its clean and neutral sans serif style. It's highly versatile and it allows you to create visual hierarchies and emphasis similar to those achieved with Helvetica. It also has fantastic legibility. Height-wise, it is a little bit taller than Helvetica. However, if you use it within the principles of Swiss design, you'll be just fine. It's a great alternative. All right, next up is Montserrat, or Montserrat, depending on how you want to pronounce it. This is a great sans serif font, however, it might be a little bit better reserved for web use. But you can still easily use it in your Swiss design. Just keep in mind that the glyphs are a little bit wider than they are tall, and that it is a slightly overused font. All of that said, it provides excellent legibility. And of course, it's free, so that's great. All right, up next is Hebo, which is very similar to Helvetica in a lot of ways. It is slightly more curvy and has maybe a little bit more personality than Helvetica. Hebo can be used in print and web interchangeably, and it's great whether you have a lot of text or a little text. The next font on our list is Source Sans Pro. This is a free and open source font through Google Fonts, and it is a great replacement for Helvetica. However, there are some things to consider. While this font is very versatile, it may lack some of the distinctive neutrality and timelessness of Helvetica. It has a slightly more humanist touch, which makes it less suitable for projects that require utmost neutrality and formality. Basically, it has just a little bit more of a personality than Helvetica does. If you're going to use Source Sans Pro, make sure that your poster doesn't have a lot of type on it. Okay, we are now in my top two fonts that you can easily use to replace Helvetica in your Swiss designs. Up next is Public Sans, and this can easily replace Helvetica. It shares a clean, modern sans serif style that aligns well with the minimalist and functional principles of Swiss design. By default, it has very well-proportioned letters, along with a very large weight range. It's a font that is very close in appearance to Helvetica, but still has a little bit of its own personality. All right, and the last one on my list is Inter. This is almost a carbon copy of Helvetica, however, it definitely has more of a modern feel to it. If you're doing something that's a little bit more progressive and really super modern, then feel free to use Inter. However, if you're going for old classic style Swiss design posters, definitely stick with Helvetica. However, Inter will work just as well, whether or not you have a large or small amount of type. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any other alternatives to Helvetica, please let me know what they are down in the comments. Please consider subscribing to support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.